there's a lot of el different elements that are going on here to create this type of unique structure. Uh, we want to talk to it a little bit about it. Now, Cassie, can you tell us, how does the Arizona Masonry Council come together? What's it all about? So we are a nonprofit association in Arizona, and we're made up of mason contractors and masonry suppliers and producers. And we all come together to promote the four pillars, which is education and promotion, workforce development, legislative, and building code advocacy. Wow, you hit a, a lot of power words right there. I mean, some sensitive words that anybody in our industry knows, workforce development, education, these are some things that we cannot live without. Your organization has stepped it up to continue to promote and go leaps and bounds into the education and to the workforce development of it. Dave, I mean, you, you sit on some technical committees that help provide this assistance into the education to build with masonry, utilized masonry materials, right? That is correct. So uh, I'm the chair of the technical committee. And our goal is to uh, help the industry out to be a strong advocate for promotion of masonry, uh, working with the building officials, with architects, with engineers, with whomever we need to, to be able to uh, promote masonry as a preferred building method in uh, Arizona and the United States. That's right. Now, I I've checked this structure out. I spent a little extra time in it myself, put my feet up. It's a nice, comfortable place to work. It's very unique. So we're going to come back to Chris Norr and the Smith Group. Now, you guys are trying to achieve something different very specific to what the customer demand is. Uh, so it's not cookie cutter, not at all. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you do and what your organization does for the construction industry? Yeah, absolutely. We're uh, a large uh, multidisciplinary firm. Uh, we have architects, engineers, interior designers, and planners trying to do what our clients need, what the best thing is for them to design a better future. What, what are we talking, one or two guys? Uh, no, about 1,200 people. Oh, okay, that, that, that's big time right there. Um, now, Cassie, what about these elements that we use? Can you tell us what, why are we using these vented walls? Is it popular down here? It used to be, but it's definitely coming back. Now, if, if I understand correctly, this material that you see here is used in different sizes, shapes, but it's a common material. What is it? It's all fence block material, so uh, standard shapes, C block, uh, allows for uh, what, what a four inch block would fit into uh, that you would see as a very utilitarian wall. Wow, very interesting. Gotta stay hydrated in Las Vegas here, folks. Brian, I saw a bunch of people out here the other day. Did your crew help put this all together? Actually, we had a couple of our apprentices come out and help us put it together, along with Maroni Mejia, and yep. Now, Maroney, I know he's a talented man himself, and having those apprentices out here, not only to get the, the labor that we need to build these things, now they're able to take a look at all the other innovations, keep masonry and construction as their trade, make us more successful, continue to educate, go through the workforce development, work with groups like Smith Group, designing unique structures like this, utilizing common masonry materials in different ways.